How's it going guys? It's Darren with muzzleloaders.com and today we're going to be answering the question, what magnification do I need for my muzzleloader scope? But before we get started, it looks like most of you who are watching this video probably aren't subscribed. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to receive notifications whenever we post content, and let's get into it. The first thing I want to address in this video is a common misconception that more magnification means a better scope, and that is not always true. In fact, I would say that glass quality and coatings have way more to do with the performance of the scope than the magnification does. For instance, you could buy like a 6 to 20 by 50 for under $300, and the glass quality is not going to be very good, and so you're not going to be able to see anything when you're at 20 power. Or you could buy a 3 to 9 by 40 with really good quality glass and that way you can actually see what you're looking at when you're at full power. With that said, this video is still called What Magnification Do I Need For My Muzzleloader? And magnification does still play a pretty crucial role, and so let's go ahead and get into that portion of it. So the scope I have right here, this is our muzzleloaders.com Genesis 3 to 9 by 40 and a 3 to 9 by 40 is going to be enough to accomplish 99% of tasks with a muzzleloader. Because with a muzzleloader, you're usually shooting between 200 yards and in, maybe you stretch it out to 300, but even so, Nine power is usually plenty to get the job done at that distance. Three to nine by 40 is also one of the most common, so you can find one by pretty much any brand that you like. And they're usually pretty affordable, so you can spend a little bit more money trying to get higher quality glass and just stick with the three to nine by 40 magnification. Now, one of the instances where a three to nine by 40 is probably not going to work very well is if you're using a super magnum muzzle loader like the CVA Paramount or Remington 700 UML and you're trying to stretch out your distance to like four or 500 yards. In that scenario, magnification is going to play a little bit more of a crucial role. However, I still would not neglect glass quality. I would much rather have a nine power scope with really good glass quality than a 20 power scope with terrible glass quality. Now, if you're looking for our magnification recommendation for long range, I can't say it. For long range muzzle loaders, then we usually say sticking right around 16 power is plenty. Uh, you could even get away with coming down a little bit from that, but 16 power is going to be enough to get the job done for pretty much every long range muzzle loading scenario you encounter. So three things I really want you guys to take away from this video is number one, more magnification is not always better. Number two, glass quality is the most important factor when we're talking about optics. And number three, a three to nine by 40 scope with good glass quality is going to get the job done for pretty much every single muzzle loader scenario. Well, that's about all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and feel free to reach out over social media and we'll see you in the next video.